One of the most uh, unsettling factors about coronavirus is how little we know about this disease, particularly the long-term effects on patients who recover from it. Joining us now to shed some light on that topic is Dr. Andrew Vaughn of the Biomedical Sciences School at Penn Vet. Dr. Vaughn, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it and your expertise. Oh, yeah. Very happy to be here. So we, we've seen the image, and you're well that this disease ravages the lungs of people while they're infected with it. But do we know anything about what it might do in the long run to people's lungs once they survive this? Sure. Um, the reality is we, we don't know. We really have um, case reports and anecdotes we didn't, uh, coming from mostly from China at this point where, uh, you know, people were severe. They were in the ICU, but they did recover. Um, and it appears that a fair number of these people are exhibiting some long-term long pulmonary function consequences, uh, somewhere between 20 to long-term decreases in some of the, the uh, uh, lung functions that we typically look at. Uh, whether this is going to be the case uh, at really long-term isn't clear. The hope, of course, is that uh, they're going to get better uh, over the uh, coming months and, and regain full normal physiology of the lung but uh it's too early to know yeah uh, dr vaughn i think it's pretty widely held that we don't yet know how many people are have been infected too widely to figure out how many were asymptomatic but at least anecdotally right now coronavirus seems to many were men more significantly than women at least when it comes to the severity of the symptoms do we have any insight as to why that's the case Sure. Um, again, we do have the insight we have is is largely uh, hypothetical. At this again, um, one of the key observations that I'm uh, following up with another uh, lab here in uh, Montserrat Inguera's lab uh, is the idea of differential escape of the viral receptor DX chromosome, which of course women have two copies of and, and men only have one copy of. So we think this two gene called ACE2, which is how the virus actually infects your cells, um, that X which is different between men and women because of that presence on the X chromosome. Uh, so we're we're really trying to follow up that observation and understand whether that is uh, indeed causative that observe for the, the differences in disease severity, because it really does seem to be holding true both in uh, wide and in Pennsylvania, that uh, while both sexes uh, are infected at a relatively equal rate, um, men are uh, relative to be subject to sub um, significantly more serious disease. Well, we are certainly grateful for the brilliance of your medical mind and that of your colleagues, sir. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Volians, from the Biomedical Sciences School Thanks. at Penn Vet. Thanks again.